want to give a shout out to our new sponsor, SKB Cases, are jumping right in with a new giveaway. Check it out at the end of the video. Today on the Slanted Lands, we're going to take a look at using a motivated key light. Now we were shooting an umbrella shot a long time ago, and during that shoot, I took an opportunity to shoot something for myself. We had the whole set there, we had the branch, we had the backdrop, and I wanted to add a woman with a lantern. I love the look of a motivated key light, and holding a lantern is a great motivation for a key light source. You see, the light source is in the shot, and it creates a reason for all the light that's going to happen in the image. Street lights are great for this, or lanterns, or lamps, or flashlights. A window will create a motivated key source because you see the window in the shot and you know the light should be streaming through it. I knew when we shot this shot that we were going to strip a background of some sort into it. The perfect background presented itself when Jolene and I went to Maine. We just kind of became fascinated with lighthouses. We photographed several of them as we worked our way up the coast and decided this would be perfect to take one of these lighthouses and strip it into the background with the lady holding the lantern. Let's take a look at how we shot the main image and then how we did the background. We had set up my favorite cloudy gray sky for the umbrella shot we did, but knew that that had to go when we did our woman with the lantern. Using the tree branch and our grass from the other shot, let's take a look at our lighting setup. Our first light was the motivated key. We put a Dynalite pencil light in the lantern and then ran the cord to the floor. We'll need to remove that cord and post. The lantern was wrapped with diffusion and full Roscoe CTO or orange gel. So here's our first shot with just the lantern light. I stacked several layers of diffusion on the front of the lantern and only one layer on the back. This will keep the visual of the lantern from being overexposed, but allow light to escape through the back to give a nice key light on her face. We used a deep beauty dish with a Dynalite head. We're going to have to move this fairly close to camera so it's going to get around that lamp and light her face, but not necessarily the lantern. I want it to imitate the motivation of the light lamp, but it needs to open up her face a little bit and not light the lantern. We're now going to add three lights on the background, all with diffusion and aimed up from the floor. I'm not going to put any CTO on these lights so the background goes a little bit of blue. Most of this background is going to go away when we strip our lighthouse in. Not all of it, but most of it. We will now add a rim light from camera left to rim her body and help separate her from the background. This light does not have a full Roscoe CTO or orange gel on it. Right now it may not look that blue, but when we put smoke in the air, you're going to see it. I did have Andy hold a Photoflex reflector on the camera left side to reflect just a little bit of that rim light back into her face and open up the shadows just a little bit. Now let's get to shooting, that's the fun part. We're going to use a wind machine from camera right to blow her dress and create motion in her hair. Jelena will lift her scarf and dress and drop it and allow it to catch the wind just slightly out of frame so she can reach in, pull the dress and scarf, drop them, and step back. Here's the final image with no retouching. The smoke is really strong and has picked up that blue light from the rim. We now need a good background. Jolene and I found some great lighthouses in Maine that will fit perfectly with this image. At one location we shot, I had the camera set up and left Jolene to shoot some images while I went up to higher ground to get a different angle. I looked back as Jolene was engulfed in a wave that went right up to her shoulders. She lifted the camera up above her head, just barely keeping from being drowned herself, but saved the camera so it didn't get wet. True to form for Jolene, she's standing there absolutely drenched up to her shoulders and she simply says, I think I'll go change. I got a little wet. No drama. No fuss, she's an absolutely amazing woman. So here's our lighthouse. We shot this outside of Portland, Maine. It's called the Portland Headlight, go figure. Jolene did a great job compositing the lighthouse into the background of the main shot. She used two images, one for the water and one for the lighthouse. When she was done, I took the image into Nick's software and bleached out some of the color and made it feel just a little less strong. Here's our final image. You know, I love this type of fantasy portrait. Great fun to produce and great fun to shoot. You know, using a motivated key light helps us create this kind of a successful image. So get out there and look for motivated key sources you can put in your images. Keep those cameras rolling and keep on clicking. It's a new month and a new giveaway. So go to thesalandruns.com where you can win one of four of these SKB cases. Check it out, these are fabulous cases. Dustproof, waterproof, indestructible, with incredibly easy locks to open and to close. Thuslinelines.com. Win one of your SKB cases. Now that you've finished this video and gotten great lighting instruction, just click this little button. Push right here. It's not that hard. Just push, click. There you go. You can do it. Yeah.